Good morning, Facebook family and friends and YouTube subscribers. Today is Wednesday. It is the September 10th, 2014. So Ray Rice and his wife have been all over the news because of a videotape released by TMZ um, showed an incident in which he punched her, knocking her out while they were on the elevator. Now this incident happened um, several months ago and the video is just now being released so right, he was arrested and charged indicted for third degree assault aggravated assault on March 27 2014 uh, when he hit his wife the blow knocked her unconscious and uh, the NFL gave him a suspension of two games because of this incident but now that the video has been released, the NFL, his team that he was with, has been, the Baltimore Ravens have suspended him, and he is now without, his contract was actually terminated by the Baltimore Ravens on September 8th, and he might be banned from the NFL because of this video that was released of him hitting his wife. Now remember, this happened on March 27, 2014, they were, they were at the Red Ravel Casino in New, in New Jersey where this incident took place. Somehow the video got into TMZ's hands. I can imagine they paid a pretty penny to get this video. And they got into their hands and they released it and now this man has lost his job. Now, this is my problem with this whole incident. Now, we all know that this happened back in March and there was a video of him dragging her off the elevator. But we didn't see what was going on inside the elevator. So she was knocked out. He was dragging her out. A little bit carrying her, picking her up, or dragging her, whatever. What did they think had happened in that elevator for this woman to be laid, knocked out? Afraid you think she just passed out? He admitted he had hit her. So we didn't really need to see this videotape to know what took place inside the elevator. I didn't need to see it. The girl was knocked out. So he hit her. He knocked her out. So now that the video is released, everybody's all up in arms, everybody's upset, and I'm thinking, he knocked her out, we already knew that. That he assaulted her, he admitted to it, he went to court, he pled guilty, he took it to, so, but now after the fact, y'all, everybody wants to get upset about this video. Now, that's just one part of my problem with this issue. The video, who cares? We know what took place. We don't really didn't need to see the video to know what took place, all right, to knock somebody out takes a great deal of force and, and hitting somebody he, he, two blows and she was out now a lot of people are attacking her and attacking him and attacking the NFL about this whole incident personally I don't think this man should have lost his job or contract with the Baltimore Ravens now if they want to help somebody because I kind of get the idea that they're trying to use him for an example to help other team to prevent other team members from attacking their wives fiancés and girlfriends because he did marry this one later on if they want to help people, they should have forced that couple into counseling. That's what should have been done. Whatever, whatever, the two team suspension, fine, whatever, whatever they wanted to do. But they should have made an example of him by forcing him into family counseling with his wife. Because honestly, they both had issues. She spit on him. She hit him. He hit her back. They're young. Don't know no better. In a public place, don't know you're supposed to do that shit in the privacy of your home. Right? So, they should have forced them into counseling. That would have set a better example than dismissing, than terminating his contract and getting, ban, possibly banning him from the NFL. That's how I feel. You want to help somebody? Help somebody. You want to help other football players and prevent this from happening? Then put the resources in place. So that these men with all this testosterone running through their veins can get help and have get better understand how to handle their anger, how to deal with their wives, their girlfriends, their kids, their family members, other people in the public. Anger management. Now the NFL got billions of dollars. What would it have cost to force this man, they could have made him pay for it, into some type of counseling for him and his wife? Y'all, so, so a lot of people run around here, oh, they should be broke up, they shouldn't be together. Y'all acting like folks ain't never gotten into a damn fight before. 
I didn't see so many married couples fight. I just sit back and stare. I didn't see so many gay couples. I can tell you about fights me and Erwin had. It happens. And it's not ever going to stop. I don't give a damn if it's in public, on a boat, on a cruise, on a ship, or wherever. People get into fights. There was a federal judge who was in here in Atlanta, Georgia, just a few months ago, got into a, a, a fight with his wife on an elevator, and he punched her. A federal judge. They didn't fire him from his job. He's still there. Look it up. So I don't know. People are going to fight. Husband and wives are going to fight. Really, people in relationships are going to have these fights. But now you've got to learn how to get these people to understand that the fighting isn't right. I'm not saying fighting is right. I'm just saying it's going to happen. <laughs> car accidents are going to happen. That's when we have insurance. Nobody gets in the car and says, I'm going to wreck this shit today. No, it, car accidents happen. That's why you have insurance. And unfortunately, in relationships, there will be fights. There will be arguments. The question is, how do you deal with it? How do you get the proper tools to handle you not supposed to knock your wife out in the elevator or in the privacy of your home? You're not supposed to touch her at all. You're supposed to walk away. Gay, straight, black, white, I don't care what type of relationship. People shouldn't be putting their hands on one another, but it happens. It shouldn't happen. It's not supposed to happen, but it's happening right as I'm doing this video. Somebody across town getting knocked out by some husband or the wife knocking out her husband. Or some gay couple fight. Who knows? But it's happening as we speak. As I sit here right now. Is it right? Hell no. But we don't have the right resources to... We don't, we don't know how to direct people to the right help that they need. Counseling. Anger management. That would make more sense. To show that this man can check and see. This might be a one-time occurrence with Ray Rice. I don't know. I've been trying to do some research. I haven't really seen where... He beat up other wives or girlfriends. I don't really don't know the situation. This could have been just a one-time event that unfortunately took place in a public place. They got out to the media and everyone saw it. And so he's now facing all these life-changing things over, over, over. <sighs> Something that should, should not have happened. Because I'm mean, by no means defending Ray Rice because he should not have hit his wife. And she shouldn't have hit him. They shouldn't. They they both should have just walked away that night. So we have to train people how to walk away. It's not gonna hurt your manhood to get off that elevator and leave that woman standing in there and go about your business. If she follow you, then run. You're a football player. Run from her ass and leave her right there. Don't hit her, because it can destroy your life as you're finding out. I, I feel sorry for Ray Rice and all these guys that go through this because I served time in prison. I was never a whole bunch of guys who were there for beating up their wives and some killing them, killing their wives because they didn't really, they, didn't, they never understood, they never had the proper tools to understand you don't touch the person you love. You're not supposed to. So prayfully, I pray, I Ray, Ray Rice and his wife, they'll be okay. Hopefully, he won't be banned from the NFL. Who knows? Well, everybody's so in shock about this video. I don't know why. We knew what, what took place in that elevator. We didn't need to see the video to know that this man aggressively assaulted her. It's the truth. So now we see the video. Okay. So, anyway. People are going to fight. People have arguments. The, the NFL should have took this as an opportunity to use to push their players and to set up the resources so that these men can seek Counseling and how to handle their anger so they won't be beaten up on their wives, children, fiancés, fans, anybody else. These football players have a ton of testosterone running through their system. They're trained to be very aggressive. And some things may not work out. Men are just going to be men. I hate to say that. But men need to also be taught to keep their hands off other individuals and not to harm the person they love. Anyway, I'm done with this. If you like my videos, please click like. I'm about to run out of here, and I ain't going to put my hands on nobody today, I promise. I'm just going to put my hands on some weights at the gym like I normally do. That's why I take my anger and aggression out. I, and when I get frustrated and mad, I go to the damn gym. That's where you take your anger out of. That's where you slam them weights and you throw them weights around that damn gym. Take your anger out there. You have a better workout. And you won't lose your NFL contract either. Might help you. Anyway, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your Wednesday, and I'm out of here. Bye.